Good morning, my friends. My name is Lama Jigme Gyanso, the Rational Contemplative. This is the Buddha Joy Meditation School. Welcome to Meditative Musings. One of the goals of the Buddha Joy Meditation School is to promote veganism. Ethical veganism, environmental veganism, humanitarian veganism, and healthy veganism. If you've played around on Facebook long enough, you've probably seen the meme of an angry guy with a beet red face and a little goatee and receding hairline, and he's like this. And the caption reads, I went vegan once. I did it wrong. It didn't work for me. You shouldn't be vegan either. A lot of people have a higher opinion of their scientific acumen than they ought. Student of statistics should would tell you that it's a mistake to confuse correlation with causation. Yet many people will do a quasi-vegan diet using less than whole foods and getting less than stellar advice, get unpleasant results, and then just throw the baby out with the bathwater. Let's not do that. Great minds, including Dr. Greger. MD and Neil Barnard MD and um, a host of others put tons of free videos out there giving you the science and the techniques to thrive on an ethical environmental humanitarian healthy vegan diet but let's play devil's advocate Let's forget that great scientific and medical minds agree that a healthy vegan diet is astoundingly good for you. Let's forget that some of the top athletes in virtually every genre of competition are thriving on a vegan diet. Let's forget that. And let's pursue this self-importantly. But I can't go vegan because it makes my body do fill in the blank. Or I can't go vegan because I already miss fill in the blank. Okay, so let's pretend there are no vegan alternatives to certain flavors or textures. And let's pretend, oh, let's just pretend that for some mysterious way, vegan, veganism can harm you. What makes us think we are so important that our pleasure and comfort is worth the enslavement, molestation, torture and murder of billions of cows, pigs, chickens and fish every year. It's not. We're not that important. If the world could survive the death of Lao Tzu or Buddha and Archimedes Carl Sagan, it might just survive the death of you. What's that? You say you don't want the world to go through such a horrible ordeal? Simple. <laughs> Consume an ethical, environmental, humanitarian, healthy vegan diet, and you'll be around to pester your loved ones for a ridiculously long time. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Bye-bye now.